It's Monday, 43rd of Glee. After what happened to Ducky, my partner for 12 years, I've been assigned a rookie detective to train up and work with. And I'm dreading it. While I'm a man known for my patience, and I'm proud of my short waiting list, this is something I can do without. Why can't they assign me someone I know? Or someone with experience? All that really fit bird with the tits in administration. Anyway, I'm not going to give the new guy a hard time. The chief can do that. And he says this new guy's a bright hope for the force. Didn't know I'd be working with Luke Skywalker. Hi. Yeah. I've been told to come and see Dan. Yeah. I was told to come here and do some shooting practice, even though the British police don't actually use guns ever. That's right, but it's also a very boring concept, so we're disregarding it for the purposes of this presentation. I'm Dan, mate. Nice to meet you. Now, oh, let's get out of business. Go for your gun. You carry a spare, right? Yeah. A spare gun? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got one of those. Really? Yeah, I do. I'm cool. Seriously. Look, relax. It's your first day of FART. Don't worry about it. Everyone's a little green. Let me show you how to take the bad guys down. in administration. Just when I was starting to like him. Bloody hell you two! Get a room! Yeah, the one thing you have to watch, especially the 99 series, is whether it's double column... You two! My office! Now! This is your office, Chief. That's what I said. You two are in my office. Now! <laughs> So you wanted to see us, boss? I hate to do this to you guys, but I've got a big problem here. You hear about the uh, big explosion? In the baby district? E explosion? Uh, no, doesn't ring a bell. No, no idea. Oh, for God's sake, here, take a look at this. Read that. Wow, that is really bad. Yeah. Hey, take a look at this. What is it? It's the bird with the tits in administration. Damn it. Hello, yes. I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> Fast action response team, Captain Flatulopoulos speaking. Yes? No. Yes? Yes? Prawns. Yes? No. About 15 if I'm hungry. Cleethorps, normally. Yep. Yep. Syphilis. 
That was a gratuitous plot point bulletin service. Evil Mr. John has just burglified the Do It At Home Base and Q Ultra Store downtown, killing every baby in sight while he was at it. You two, <coughs> get down there and <coughs> investigate. <coughs> I want this bastard's head on a plate by tea time. <coughs> now, go! <laughs> So, this is your first crime scene investigation? Well, yeah. If you mean the first one I'm investigating and not being investigated, yeah, it is. Unless... Unless... Unless you count... No, 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 I was thinking of a barbecue. You investigated a crime scene at a barbecue? No, it's just a barbecue. Good sausages. So, you don't know the difference between a crime scene and a barbecue? No, no, I do. Crime scenes don't have sausages, do they? No. Pity. Okay, rookie, time to get your hands dirty in that pile of dead person, his lungs. Um, yeah, uh, intestines, parts. Well, you get on with that. I'll go look over here. I think I found something. There was some trace DNA left on the door handle on the ladies' toilets. I know about a hundred people might have touched it since the crime, but I reckon if we run it back through the recombinant vestigial reticulator back at the lab, I should be able to get our perp's favourite brand of toothpaste at the very least. Where are you? Outside the bad guy's lair. <laughs> I followed the footprints. There were footprints? Yep. Check the alleyway between the crime scene and Larry's Pizza Evangelism Shack. Round. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I'll meet you in the car for dirty sex. I'll meet you in the car for in 30 sex. What are you looking at, boss? Neighbours. Yeah, I don't trust them either. They keep going through our bins and the woman at number 42 smells of eels. No, not actual neighbours. Neighbours. On TV. Ethan! Ethan, is that you? No. It's me, Benny. Benny! I'm your long lost brother from Queensland. Oh my gosh, I didn't even knew you existed. Well, no, neither did I. But our other brother, Johnny, well, he's been put into prison for arson. Somebody up in Queensland and that's illegal. Oh no! Oh hi, Harold. You'll never get me, Harold Bishop. Not with this double glazing. Yeah. Shall I buy another telly, boss? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? 
Alright, alright. That's three already this week. It's like living with Led Zeppelin. Yeah? Alright. Boss, we got a problem. Pigs are coming. Pigs? Why? We're having a barbecue. Ooh, will there be sausages? No, not real pigs. Police pigs. Police pigs? Are they like police dogs or police horses? Do they sniff out crime and then ride to wherever it's happening? Look, boss, we better get out of here. Yes, let's. I want to go and see this police pig event happen thing right before my very eyes. <laughs> Mr. Bat, I almost forgot you. Come on. Right, let's go. Yeah, let's get them. Yeah, go. Let's totally have a super fast, dangerous car chase. I agree, but we do need to be moving. You can drive, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I can drive. Yeah. Cars. Uh, trucks. Lorries. Uh, trucks. Yeah, yeah. Drive. No problem. Vroom and stuff. Vroom, yeah. Three wheelers. Yeah, you know, five wheelers. Anything really. Fast, fast experience. So, gentlemen, care to explain to me exactly how, in the name of MFI's discount weekend, you managed to let a wanted felon just waltz into the sunset? <laughs> Silence! Putting you two on this case has been the worst idea I've had since... Sir, it wasn't as simple as that. It Silence! Was... You're both off the case. And now I'm reinstating you to the case, just so I can throw you off the case again. Dan, you're suspended. John, back to the insurance scam department. My office, now! As in, get out of! Sorry, that one was me. Generic setup from a movie The hero's got himself in shit His girlfriend's run away with a bad guy The hero's not okay with it Wants to kiss her in the moonlight And lie with her in bed The sheet exposing his man Come on, big tits in administration! No, it's just me. Oh, oh, sorry. Bad dream, weird, weird dream, weird, weird, surreal dream. Oh, you've yeah. not got more for me, have you? No, this doesn't work. This is just something I want you to see. What, what do you mean? Evil Mr. John? But, but this expires today. It's his insurance claim. But that means, I've got to tell Dan.
Hi, is Dan there? I need to speak to him quite urgently. Well, some evidence. Let's go. What you looking at? That property down there is the registered address of a nobot the speckled Belgian crook pole. Evil Mr. John's chief enforcer. Bound to show up sooner or later. Cool. Can I have a look? No. You should have your own. Police officer's job to be prepared for everything. Fine. No. 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 Ah! That is the speckled Belgian. How is he looking for, I wonder? There we go. I can lip read. Right, I've got this. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So what do you say? Right. That was either kill me a baby, you've got one hour, or thrill me your boobies, I hate corn flour. We've got to take this guy out right now. You're going to shoot him for hating corn flour? Wait for it. Wait for it. Clear shot. Fire. <laughs> Run away. It was a northern striated ptarmigan. Right. And they're not native to this area. Your point being? Just beyond your grasp. I reckon it was a signal. No, you've lost me. Look, the northern striated ptarmigan, it's a ground nesting bird that favours scrubby flatland. They tend to nest around East Norfolk. As a matter of fact, right now they should be migrating towards Portugal via the Netherlands and Belgium. So what you're saying is we heard one of those normal sliced Northern striated ptarmigan, yes. You see, they start off here. They would migrate in a straight line this way, but the prevailing winds push them round here, down through here to here. Yes, John. So what you're saying is those weren't uh, those birds, the uh, northern selective Parliament things actually making noise. It was in fact an enemy signal to let each other know that they knew that we were here. Excellent. Right, uh, take 15 minutes everyone, call it 1.30. John, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
speak to you. I got wind. I know what you mean. I think it's these croissants from the canteen. No. I mean, we got some wind of some evidence. So Dan and I went to investigate. But Dan's been kidnapped by evil Mr. John. This is terrible. <coughs> what are his demands? Well, I think he's want to be set free. What are evil Mr. John's demands? His demands? What are evil Mr. John's demands? Right. I wrote them down, you know, like you taught me. Uh, hang on, I have it here. Yeah. He, he, want, he wants a helicopter. Didn't say where to. Uh, food. Yeah, probably the pizza. Everyone likes pizza. And uh, one million dollars. Why does he want it in dollars? Ah! He must be going to America. Yeah. Chief, I'm gonna go in after Dan. I need backup. Right, I don't normally do this. But this is an emergency. I believe you'll find what you need there. Right. Thanks, Gov. <laughs> Now, listen to me, Bobby. Dan. What? Dan. My name is Dan. Silence! Ah! Hey! What's all that about? Wait till the unions hear about this. Now, listen to me, filth. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to... Uh -huh. I'm going to... Yeah? I'm going to take you to a gay bar, yes! Oh, this is my plan. I'm going to take you down to the gay part of town and sit you outside, not in, outside a gay pub full of poovery people. Yes, and you're going to sit next to a really dirty ashtray outside that pub and all the smell of the cigarettes and the fag butts will make you feel ill. That'll be torture for you, won't it? Well, I smoke, and I'm not really bothered about homosexuals one way or another. I could really murder a point, so go for it. Bugger shins! Yeah, hi, I'm looking for the Police Investigation Surveillance Squad. Firearms Licensing Animal Patrol Station? No, 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 no. Flaps. Yeah, yeah. PH, no. PH. It's UCK. It's the Helicopter Undercover Constabulary of Kent. Yeah. Flaps. They always argue about their name, all right? No, don't say it out loud. Firearms Licensing Animal Patrol Station. Flaps. Yeah, yeah. Right, I've got it this time. This will make you sing. I'm going to play this tape of 1980s pop music slowed and sped up to horrible speeds. <laughs> yes, that'll annoy you, won't it? <laughs> 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 You'd like a cup of tea? Oh, please. You can't have one. <laughs> do you want a cup of tea? Please. You can't have one. <laughs> hey, do you want a cup of tea? Please. Ah, well, you can't have one. Now, have you cracked yet? Well, the music and you generally are pretty annoying, but unlikely to lead to permanent psychological damage. Ah! Bum handles! Um, can someone advertise in the paper for some more henchmen, please, or call the agency? I seem to have run out. Hello? I need absolutely everything, everything we have. Send everyone. Everyone! Thanks. Gary Oldman's going to really hate that bit. Oh, he's never going to crack. Forget it. I'm off for a salad. Ah. I'm pretty certain that smile's going to get wiped off your face pretty soon. What are you wittering about, doggy? Stop calling me Doggy. Doggy will answer to whatever name I give Doggy, or Doggy will get more salad. Woof. Don't get your hopes up, Doggy Woggy Woo. There isn't a policeman within miles of here. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, that's right. Are you 
sure about that? Yes, why do you ask? No reason. Except for them. Oh sh- Very well, pig warriors of law. Prepare to dance the bang tango. Then the police helicopter undercover constabulary of Kent. After him right now. No, oh, wait. <laughs> Let's get the car. Right. Stop doing the shaky camera it's thing. Really, really annoying. Have you seen Quantum of Solace? You can't tell what's happening at all. Keep it still. We're gonna have to try and figure out where he's heading. Get there first. Right, let's look at this logically. Louise is being blackmailed by evil Mr. John, and that's why he knew what we were doing all the way. Now what's his next move? My God! Who? Of course! Of course what? It's so obvious! I'm gonna have to go with who again. Evil Mr. John is evil, right? Yes. Babies are nice, yeah? Yes. Evil Mr. John uses the threat of killing Louise's baby to get her to help him gain ownership of the baby factory, which he then explodes, giving him carte blanche to eradicate all babies everywhere as part of his diabolical plan to destroy all that is nice, pleasant and generally agreeable in this world, knowing that all baby destruction from this point on would get blamed on the baby factory explosion. <sighs> wow. All babies ever? That's many babies. Are you sure? Give me one other explanation that makes sense. I see your point. I think this has got to do with the baby tree thing and the file that Louise gave me. Ooh, hark at Thinky Thinkerton. So, I don't hear you coming up with any bright ideas, genius. I'll have you know that moving morning coffee break from 10.35 to 11am was my idea, thank you very much. Now everybody gets a muffin. Keep your mind on the job. Evil Mr. John's about to start killing babies, and babies don't grow on trees, you know. Yes, they do. What? Of course! Evil Mr. John's going to blow up the baby tree! Right! I'm here! Where is it? Give me my daughter. No! You show me first! Right. Fine. But you have to promise me that you'll give me my daughter. Cabs on her. Right, we're here. Now give me my daughter. Certainly. Hello. There you go, safe and sound. Now, step away from the case. What's there? Told you. No way. The baby tree. <laughs> so, I give you your baby back and you choose to betray me. Well, this has me very confused about the whole good evil thing. If only I had some sort of leverage over you at this point. Or maybe I do. 
Did I give you your baby back? Or did I give you something else? <laughs> gang's all here. It's your two boyfriends. Well, you may as well put your guns down. There's no stopping me now with this bomb. Yes, I am going to blow up this tree using a bomb. That's my plan. That's what's going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. You may as well just stand there and watch and get blown into oblivion. <laughs> now what? Don't worry about it. I'm worrying about it. I've got a spare. Spare what? Spare gun. You've got a spare gun? Yeah. Well, use it. Okay. You had a spare gun. Yeah, what did I tell you? Always carry a spare. If you had a spare gun and all those other police... <sighs> Never mind, now what? Well, I am going to get my bed. And now it's time to introduce you to the final bit of your training. Cool, what's that? The paperwork. <laughs> 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 no, but seriously, there is quite a lot to do. I mean, we've got an awful lot of dead bodies here. We need four FM06-4. We're going to need seven of them per body, which is going to be ratified through the main office by Tuesday. So if you can get on for that. Right. Okay, then after that, we're going to need to rerun it via internal affairs, because obviously there are a couple of shooting situations. So. Can, I, can I copy and paste any of that? Uh, no, it has to be handwritten these days still. Handwritten? Yeah, I know we live in the paperless age, but it's not quite got this. Who, who writes with their hands anymore? Oh, no. You'd be amazed. It's common practice. In fact, in most police stations, don't even have a typewriter. Can I text it in? Um, yes, but if you use any kind of abbreviation, they dot your paper up. Well, what if I document it on Facebook? That works. Twitter? No. No one likes Twitter. <gasps> oh. oh, it's you! Where have you been? All right, we go down, Bob. Because he's laughing. Go and stand over there and don't laugh at the area. Come on. You invested in the head. What do I say investigate? What do I say? Roll your tongue. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> it looks like a border terrier trying to pass a set of false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We've got plenty of shots there to choose from. Right, is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I have no idea how <laughs> weird that is. <laughs> Do you want a towel? Please.